What is going on, you fine scale freaks? Welcome back to the next installment of the Foundations of Craftsman Kits. I gotta go grab a paintbrush real quick. All right, I am back. Sorry, paintbrush was across the room. All right, welcome back to another installment of the Foundation of Craftsman Kit building. Uh, so the last time you were watching, we filled in our cracks on the corners of our building with some drywall mud. I know everyone else had some suggestions you can use wood putty, you can use a couple other things. Um, we're using drywall mud. So what we did was we mixed the paint up to match the brick. So we have our paint ready to cover this up. Don't mind the mess over here. I'm painting a whole bunch of detail parts for the scene. If you've been following along with us on our Facebook page and Instagram, um, I'm working over here. You can't see it, but it's over there. Actually, I'll unclip it and show you guys real quick. Why not? Let's have a little bit of fun tonight. So I was working on the Sassin Vinegar Works, which we've actually renamed to DeSantis Vinegar, and I made a custom sign here. So I was working on this scene recently, and uh, been painting a lot of detail parts. So that is just a little sneak peek of our layout. Not done yet, but uh, that's what we got. All right, let's get back over here. Clip in. All right, so let's quickly just show you how I'm gonna cover up the, sorry for that little distraction, everyone. So I'm just gonna dry brush basically the plaster just to cover up that white um, seam here. So get your brush nice and covered in paint, but then also dry enough to be able to control it. And we're just going to go through here and cover up our scene. Uh, it might be a little bit bright. So I'm going to add a little bit of brick red. And then just to darken it up just a tad, I'm going to take a little bit of black. Sorry, I mixed it improperly the first time. So we're going to go back. Um, just a dot of black. Let me get a toothpick. Mix this up a little bit. And darken up what I have already. There we go. This will be a little better. You're going to have to excuse me. My Capitals game is actually on upstairs, so I'm wearing my Capitals jersey tonight for this video. All right, back on track. Got my sleeves rolled up because I don't want to get any paint on my Capitals jersey. All right, we're playing the Bruins tonight, so go Caps. Sorry to our uh, New England fans. So we're just going to cover up this seam here with a really... Just a small amount of paint. Really don't need a lot. Got a little bit on the trim there, that's okay. So, this is where it's important to remember that you need to um, make sure you know what you mixed for if you mix a custom paint color or what paint you used the first time when you were painting. That way you can go back over and touch it up later. Um, but I know some people said in, in our comments on the other video, in the last video, on number 13, that they use wood putty or a few other products. Um, sure, if you do use a different product, that is not definitely not wrong. Um, this is just what we learned from Doug Fiscali and uh, a couple other people have told us. But I think Doug, as I said before, mentioned it on one of our podcasts. So that's where I remember it from. I'm going to grab a little bit of 
Where's my khaki? I need to find my khaki paint. Do, do, do. Where did I... There it is. There we go. <clears throat> and while I'm at it, I'm just going to put a drop of my khaki paint down. Got to get a different brush. All right. Sorry, we almost knocked over my pretty precious pink hair dryer, which is going to come into play here in a second. And we're going to just also cover up the uh, corners here, the seams here of the um, top trim of the building. Okay. Blend it, blend it in a little bit. There we go. Okay. And for the last step here, I'm going to find my steel gray, which is my base color for the foundation, right? And put another dot down. Oh man, I'm getting low on the steel gray. I have to get some more. All right, and again, just tight. I definitely put way too much paint down, but just take a tiny bit and fill in the corners. And this, I'm going to just blend with my finger. Just like that, cover that up. Same thing on this side. And blend that in. Okay. And I am just gonna take my awesome pink hair dryer. I recommend every model railroader have a pink hair dryer. Fire it up. Dry these corners up. step for this sorry i had to step away again grab my brush all right final step for this is to grab the white chalk for the brick and then blend this back in like we did on the other steps that way you're not seeing that fresh paint on top of the already weathered paint Sometimes you gotta do a little thing, a little bit of finger smudging. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my gray chalk as well down the bottom. Just blend that in on the bottom a little bit. Flip it over and then do the same thing for the opposite side. And I do one, I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed. I want to thank all of our subscribers. I think we're actually close to like. 1100 subscribers now so man that's awesome i appreciate every single subscriber um you get to listen to us babbling and listen to some of our podcasts maybe some of you guys are our podcast listeners uh either way we appreciate all of you and we cannot wait to hit our next milestone subscriber count which would be like what i don't know we'll say 1200 but thank you for all of our subscribers. Thanks for anyone following along with this video series. There we go. So now we've taken our white seams and we've hidden them just a little bit more with some paint and a little bit of weathering chalk. And I, I'm going to just smudge it a little bit just to make it match a little bit more. There we go. All right. That's how I finish my seams. Um, that's There we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know there's other, method, other methods to do it, 
like I said, some people said they use wood putty and some other products. Um, this is just what I like to use and what I've had success with. So there we go. That's what I do. That's what I do. The next step on this kit is going to be the assembly of the two pieces here. And then we're going to actually start doing some roofing. So follow along. If you have not already subscribed to our page, make sure you click that subscribe and you hit that bell button that way you get some notifications on every time we do a new video and put up our new podcasts because our weekly podcasts are also on our youtube channel but you'll also be able to find out how we do our next step which is roofing and just assembly of these two pieces plus then we're going to do some decking around the front of this building right here over here um so we got a lot more to do this kit so thank you for following along hope you're enjoying this series there we go have a great night